Be careful. The further in time you get, the more likely you are to become lost. Your life shall cease. High and low doesn't matter. This is the path. But yes, now this is Revenge RPG, which is actually funny because my ex always wanted me to play and I got into it right before he broke up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it happened He's like a that. wonderful person if he's listening out there. It just didn't work out. That's I guess true. you were his dream girl. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't stick with long enough. Okay, so there we are. <laughs> oh my God, did he blow it or what? All right. <laughs> the year today is 4721 AR. But the Thieves Council began in approximately 4285 AR. Born from a brutal war that nearly destroyed the Riskrani criminal underground. For nearly 200 years, the Council had a lock on the West Crown criminal underground ruling it from behind the scenes and terrorizing the city populace. This situation reached a breaking point in 4469 AR, and Queen Corradina intervened. She knew that a full frontal assault on the powerful guild would result in great bloodshed. And so she worked out a behind closed door solution with the council leaders. The council would offer up some sacrificial lambs to the queen, and she would make a great show to the public of having captured and publicly executed them. In return, the council would be allowed to continue its existence, albeit in a subtle, hidden, and mostly non-violent guise. Join GM McClouds and the players of the Loaded Dice Rollers on this week's adventure. Find truth in the path. Wow. That's Lady D. Deanna does amazing voiceover for us, and she's been doing it every week. Thank you. Because I think people get a lot of that out of the opens. Like, they get little tidbits they probably wouldn't pay attention to otherwise. It's kind of like your player companion for uh, Adventure Pack, right? That was great. Oh, she's great on mute. Voice. She's great on voice. mute. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's uh, on mute. And we wouldn't speechless. be able to, to, to make the... <laughs> speechless. I was saying things, but oh. I was on mute. <laughs> you know, if we didn't have the voiceover then, we wouldn't be able to make the joke about full frontal assault just like happened last episode. <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to talk about Oh my about gosh. <laughs> the timing was amazing. Fun. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good joke. Be oh, okay. Is that a, a star? Are we still no, doing that? Are we still doing that? Yes. No, no, no. I'm joking. Uh, she is joking. I don't think yeah, we're doing well, I think Deanna deserves it for that. For you know, we were trying to get out of town okay. because of All right. the chaos that had just happened at the that uh, is her first Pathfinder star. Lodge. That is her first star. And any jokes, Anastasia's a serious Deanna, you appreciate bitch. this? <laughs> As, as that was happening in the in the voiceover, <laughs> in the chat, I was like, hey, she said full frontal. I, heard, I saw your face react. I was like, I was watching to see if anyone else, because I knew it was coming, and I was like, someone please react to full frontal after uh, we just had a full frontal. We did. <laughs> you can count on me. I'm a 13-year-old boy. The lowest brow comedy, I'm, I'm a willing recipient. We can attest to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's going to be great to see how you transition from last episode to this one and say your character changed. Oh, my God. <laughs> As so much dra right. dramatic Both. transformation. And tonight, uh, we, you know, we don't have a cold open, so we should catch everybody up. So last episode, Theros Lightsworn went out to take a pee break. When he did, went out, the occupants of the place he was... Can you explain this, Jonathan? First of all, worst bathroom break ever. <laughs> and second of all, the supposed occupants, uh -huh. those claiming to be occupants, which then, by the way, didn't take me inside their establishment that they claimed took me to the woods yeah. and tied me to a chair in my own piece soaked clothes there's others in there and they didn't they, they didn't know what they're up against they're you know they're it just doesn't speak to the legitimacy <laughs> of the claim is all that I'm they saying. they are wanted people and they're not taking any chances the diana is a member of the brotherhood of silence they are like a deadly guild that has lasted the time of you know all things on glorian and 
she coming back to their hideout, which is temporary, I saw you peeing on her friend's tree and then took you as captive. Yeah, well, Brotherhood of Silence, they were quite vocal about my, my <laughs> being there. What with the arrows and the urination on me and everything. Yeah, it was not very, not very silent. I got pissed on, Mel. Straight up pissed on. This is like, what you missed yeah. last episode. Are you scared of bagpipes now? Right. Yes. Also, right. Came to get right. down. <laughs> Came to get down. Jump around. It was a bagpipe. It I'll was have a bagpipe. PTSD whenever I hear bagpipes now. <laughs> ah, I can smell the urine. Ron, by the way, you know that in our podcast there will be bagpipes playing when you talk. Oh, absolutely. Oh, with, oh, with it really? Oh, I, I love that. Oh, yeah. So, thank you. I'm inspired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're inspired because you're a bard. And, and we should tell everybody tonight we have a couple special guest players again with us. DM Ron. DM Ron. Yay, we love him. Thank you for coming. Last time he was a player, he won at Gen Con. He took, what, what yeah. year was that? 96? 97. You're dating me, but that's true. <laughs> I, I did win. A yeah. It's his 40th back. birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's 1985. I did oh, great. No. There were three people there at Gen Con, and I won. You know, and thank God for me, Brett had a high school friend. So I took Brett. Uh, That's right. An incredible time, and, you know, I'll never forget that year. We have the owner of Gen Con on Loaded Dice Rollers. You know that, and He's right? an awesome guy. Yeah. So oh, he's coming. Yeah. He's told, he, he kind of emails me a lot. So he wants back on, by the way. Awesome. So, hey, fun fact. We went to Jane Con back in the day. Gary Gyax, you guys know the name, right? Obviously. Oh, snap. Hey, Bre you just Brett said and I Gary. back in the day, Brett, my other brother Ryan, we all had a chance to play in a private little game with like five people for just $100 each. And we said no. <laughs> That's oh, a lot no. of money back then. Oh my God, I can't oh, we had, that We said so no. I know. I know. Instead, instead we, signed, had him, we had him sign our player's handbook first well, That's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah. That's so. still pretty cool. My younger brother gave him a 20 starter and said, hey, will you sign this die? Like a little 20 starter. And he was like, no, it's too small. My brother was like, yeah. <laughs> he was crushed. My brother like walked away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you need a Brett size D20. Yeah, the exactly. Ball. Yeah, this one's ball. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, sign that easy. That one's easier and to sign. Yeah. For everybody listening, don't lose hope. Gary's gone. You know, his memory lives on in the game and what he's done for us. And and Peter kind of Peter Atkinson made that, you know, carried that on. But I have to tell you, Ernest Gygax is going to be a guest star in the season. So I just wanna let you guys know that. We've been talking wow. about dates for the last like wow. literally three months. Ernie we're gonna, G. We're gonna lock him in. And I don't wanna compare apples to oranges, but Luke Gygax. Okay, Luke, so who Luke. Is, okay, so I know Gygax, obviously. So who yeah. is Luke? Can you tell the, the readers? They're, or they're both sorry. Ernest's son, and then Luke is son. And Luke, he just he has fun with whatever he does. And he's an amazing dude. The last episode that I heard him on was with Stefan from Dwarven Forge, mm -hmm. Peter mm -hmm. Atkinson, and Luke. And it was banal. It was it was crazy. He's so good. He's so good. You guys are going to be so happy when he, wow. when he turns up. And that's just to name a few of the celebrities we have going on. I mean, Jeff Goldblum, just to mention, wow, he's doing something, not with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. He could be a, he could be a, <laughs> you know, he's on know. the fringe. <laughs> Dark Dice, is that loaded dice rollers? Dark Dice, we, technically, if your dice are loaded, that's pretty dark, right, it Jonathan? Is. Yeah, Deanna, yeah. It's yeah. Dark, dark stuff. <laughs> sure. Anyway, and we, we also have Mel back, and we should acknowledge that Tom isn't here. Tom, he is enjoying a vacation. Do we have vacation time on this podcast? I'm still enjoying my vacation. I'm just choosing to do it right here. That's right, baby. Oh, oh, good job, Mel. You showed up. Nice. Tom's character's up for grabs for potential death, I think, is what we're going for here. Uh, he's, he's totally gone. He's dead. He's a, he's really glad Tom was gone. I got to come in here tonight. Thank you so much, Tom, yeah. for being gone. I'm <laughs> hey, look, I Tom. showed up and I, I almost died. I was here. <laughs> that was, I almost got killed. <laughs> oh, so all bets are off on loaded dice rollers. So, Jonathan, you did an amazing job in the last episode. I just acknowledge you for that because it's really tough to be abducted. And then I didn't expect them to just hack you. The, the guest star just did. I don't know. Yeah, that was surprising. <laughs> Yeah, Tracy just went in for the kill. I was kind of like, okay, well, whatever. And my gonna privates. Happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun to be the only person on this podcast ever to be with, caught with your pants down. Ooh, count it. <laughs> what is it like being naked from the pants? You know, it's cold. It's been raining the okay. entire time. I mean, look, I'm comfortable with myself. Nice. I, I, you know, I fought with with my junk out. 
But and you know, the squirrels are starting to investigate because of the smell. <laughs> the nuts. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we pulled you closer to the fire, remember? That's, oh, that's right. Now there are chestnuts roasting on an open yeah. fire. Oh my. Oh, that's a star. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> Yeah, it's got two stars. There's a lot of stars, by the way, out here. I love when the theme music runs out because that reminds me to move on. Yay! <laughs> you guys heard a campsite interrogating this guy, Theros Lightshorn, who you know to be a wealthy individual of Almas, at least his family used to be. And I guess most of their money was taken away. And you've made, like, at least 40 jokes about it. <laughs> they could uh, they could uh, have a nice charity lunch with all the roasts that they had. Yeah. Anybody have one last oh, one for a star? That was a good one, actually. That was a good joker. I appreciated that, Deanna. Yeah, Thank that you. Was, oh, okay, Deanna gets one. Anybody else for, for one last one? Uh, your dad's <laughs> so hairy, he must be an owlbear. Is that a joke? That's good. That's good. Uh, your family's so broke, they keep the lights on with will-o'-wisps. Is that a joke? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did, did I get two stars? Wow. Congratulations you did. You did. To me. Welcome back. We have a campsite. And Theros, you're at the center of it. On the fire. <laughs> yeah, you're on the fire. Right. It, it's hot. And you've been interrogated from last episode. Say you, say me. Why don't I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> He has a bard. Know. Ron is playing a bard. So, yeah. They... <laughs> Good song, Stan. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Light Swan, you better speak up before Lady Rosen comes back with her piss buckets. Oh. You know what? I, I, I'm not going to lie. Part of me is strangely excited about that prospect. <laughs> and I've told you but through all the horrible things that you've said that uh, that are resembling some sort of some sort of insane humor I, I think that's what you're going for with these i told you i will not be intimidated by the likes of you i shave his eyebrows right then and then How do you do oh, it? Um, I, I, you mad at me? he's on a chair right he's 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 all uh, tied up to the chair so i take the chair and i i swing it around and I lean it back over the fire and I said, let's talk to me about intimidation. Ooh. I love what you just did here because here's why. I would yes. like to roll for a strength check considering she just exposed the 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 ropes Ooh, to the fire. Uh -oh. I'd like to bust out of the chair, please. He's trying to push the ropes into the fire. Please roll a d20, <laughs> Nice job. Start Can I also, it. I was trying to roll an intimidation check. Roll a d20. You're plus 15 on your intimidation. I got a plus 15 on intimidation. Well, I got a plus eight. So what is our difficulties in 18? I only have a total of 24. Good. She intimidates you and you still- All right, you I'm still gonna, yeah, I guess I would yeah. still try to bust out yeah. then in that case. I'll just, I'll, I'll just offer her a lot of deference. Okay. 13 plus, what am I adding to this? Your strength bonus. Uh, which is a plus four, so 17. Okay, you kind of make it in the fire. They, they do scorch a little, so. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> Roll a d20, see if, see if it does catch. D20, 19 or 20 on the d20, it, it catch fire. Did a little damage to the rope. A four. Okay, it has hardness, so you did you did a point of damage to the rope. Ooh. Mel. Save me, Lou. <laughs> She's the thief in your group. You track these, you know, this crew back to Idiots, you. call them idiots. And, That's what they are. And you're in the oh. forest and make a perception check. Okay. All of us? Yeah, uh, just, just melt. Oh. Okay. Six plus seven. Okay, you don't notice what he's trying to do, but you, you do see the group They're They have your friend up against the fire and then it's sort of open initiative. So Ron, you're playing your bagpipe. Sand Dandy Liver is playing his bad pipe. I def I make sure he's closer to the fire and I sing that fire song again. Hey, Just, little girl, is your daddy home? Okay. Burning like a rope. <laughs> your ropes definitely catch fire. <laughs> Jonathan, your ropes catch fire this time. The ropes caught fire and then they. I don't think you noticed. They did as soon as Dandy Liver pushed him back into the fire a little bit more. Oh. I'm on fire here. This is the. I mean, are we going this far with this? He might take damage <laughs> this next round from fire. Uh, okay. I'm going to slowly start moving up. Okay, so you start doing your creep. Just being sneaky. Okay, so you crouch down <laughs> and you, it's elbow after elbow in the in yes. knee after knee. I pull him back up out of the fire and I say, leave it to a light sworn to catch on fire. <laughs> right, he, the, the rope's caught on fire, rolled for that. They're on fire, light sworn. All right, well, what can I do? Uh, you, can, you can crack a joke for a star. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, this, this fire's a lot warmer than the reception I've received here tonight. Okay, if, sorry. if someone could put me out, please. Tell him hand me a water skin. We don't need him dying. Oh, uh, you throw it on his forehead? No, on his hands. Here you go, Anastasia. Jack, 
Get me a new rope while I talk to this fool. So, and so she's- I'm honest. So, Deanna, uh, Anastasia successfully inter in, in, intimidated me. So. Yeah, the target gives you the information you seek or agrees to follow your directive, so. Wow, look at that, that's a star. Jonathan in there for another star. As I get up closer, um, can I try and see and notice if, if I know who these people are? You can, as a matter of fact. Thank you, Mel. You Hold see a down. handsome musician. You do, you see a You very see handsome... some D-bag with a bunch of bagpipes. <laughs> yeah, you see Theris' junk. <laughs> yeah, you I do. my penis, yes. I, know, um, I, I actually think his, his penis is facing away from you. I think his penis is facing north. You see butt it's crack. about face. It's you about face. crack. Either way, yeah, it's you burnt. Get, you get ass now. <laughs> oh my, this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been. So listen, you want to know why we were in there? We Heck were trying yes. to we were trying to do right by some close friends of ours. There's someone that's been taking associates of ours for quite some time, and we were there to put a stop to it, and we had it on good authority that that's where that person was residing. The most I can tell you, we were there for nothing malicious. We were there trying to help people. How much money do you have? <laughs> on me? He has 500 gold pieces. I didn't answer that. That's not my answer. I, that is not what I say. Can we no take it? Yes. That's a I lot. answered Does one he question. Have a a bag of a bag of holding or something. Five hundred. No one wears no pants around right? his ankles. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I take it. it. That's such a role playing <laughs> thing. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. Okay. He takes your back. Your your set is a backpack of gold. You know, and I I, I basically <laughs> just attach it to my bagpipes. It's like another bag. <laughs> it goes down another like two octaves because it's like, heavy. That's the last mistake you'll ever make, my bagpipey friend. <laughs> It Anastasia, here's some fresh rope. Thanks. I grabbed the rope and I want to try to tie him up again. And Mel, did you do a per you did a perception check? Uh, to see if I noticed it was her. Yeah. I did a 14 plus my perception seven, so 21. 21. It's it's hard for you to make out on the fire, but you you think one of the faces you you recognize. The most like noticeable change is just like a hardness. So in the last few years, going from kidnapped to becoming one of them, to becoming a leader. She has both grown physically, like in strength and dexterity and stealth, but also in like emotionally, she is not as soft as she was in the beginning. Uh, and now she is like a hardened woman as opposed to like a soft girl. It's going to make it easier and more difficult for the conversation that we're about to have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody roll initiative, please. Yeah, that's good because I'm about to. Was so much deeper than Brett's character. I hope. I hope Luna beats me. That was, that was really good, right, Rob? <laughs> it's like holy crap. Um, Are we really doing that? Okay, I was like, that's incredible. Good job. I hope Luna beats me in the initiative because I'm about to make a decision that's going to change things here for them. Hey, by the way, Jonathan, you're not as heavy, so you can move faster without that gold. See, yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's true. You aren't encumbered. <laughs> you enjoy that while you've got it because you're not going to have it for much longer. Brett, you're okay. you're first, then uh, Ron. All right. Oh, wow, um, fun. Okay, so I really don't do anything. I go, nice, nice music stand. And he's just sort of dancing. <laughs> yeah. Clapping his hands for the, the beat of the, the good old bagpipe. <laughs> for those of you listening, you, you might not know, but DM Ron has a bard, and the, the bardic performance is done through a bagpipe. Yes. It's excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Do I actually see Luna in the back, or is she kind of? Uh, you could do a perception check. It'd be she's very stealthy, by the way. Stealthy. I rolled very low, so I don't think I observed her. I, I think I. You're plus twelve. Thirteen. Yeah, her stealth is probably way kicking your butt. So, okay, I don't. I don't observe her. I, I take the gold coins that I grabbed and I yes. throw them in the fire because I don't want that dirty noble money. Just... <laughs> oh, star, star. <laughs> I don't want your family's dirty money. Oh, you still have two more actions. Okay, I pull Theros closer to the fire in my one action. Okay, your ropes catch fire again. I think I, I must have like a dagger of some sort, so I take a lock of his hair to remember the experience. Ron, what's cool about you guys, you have a whip. Like Indiana oh, okay. Jones. Ooh. Whip off his hair? You, just, you pop off like a little tuff of hair. With, oh, with, if you look fumble, what I got here. If you fumble, you hit Brett. <laughs> So roll a d20, please. Oh, come on. Right, roll a one. Roll a one. I rolled a please. 16. I rolled oh, a 16, yeah. but All right, plus. you got it off. Okay, so I whip it good. His hair and a little bit of skin. <laughs> and, and it's like right goes, in the last dark. Okay, great. The tough goes in the air. And then it's, <laughs> Deanna, it's your turn. Okay, well, if you're not going to tell me who you were looking for, 
Can you at least tell me why you were looking for them? Ooh, you have a star for that. You're so smart. That's why I'm the leader, Stan. I, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Stan. Leader slash teacher slash, you know. Yes, this is boss. Remember, boss. <laughs> boss. Okay. Boss. You were the meanest one, too, so I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> no, she was easily the nicest one to me, actually. <laughs> Easily. You think Jack's the meanest? I'm just someone who likes to instigate a fight with you. You have no idea, Light Swan. Anastasia is the meanest of the bunch. You have not seen a bad side. That's right. Keep talking. <laughs> yes. I want you to give me some way to aim at. <laughs> I I hear them uh, say her name, right? Oh, good call. Yeah, Mel, good call. You get a star. Yes, you hear them say Anastasia. Good catch. You recognize who that person is? Luna pretty much as she hears this she just kind of freezes i don't think it's my turn but she just kind of starts going over all the possibilities of how to approach the situation yes good i give you a star for that that's awesome mel and then mel it actually is your turn after deanna i asked you a question are you gonna answer me i i have to wait for my turn i know so that's my whole turn <laughs> well you, you're gonna answer in free time i've already told you that we were there because this person this nefarious individual we're kidnapping compatriots of mine. And we were there to put a stop to it. And she's been kidnapping them quite successfully, quite frequently. M multiple kidnapping. Well, people infers more than one, yes. <laughs> and Theros, can you say that with pain because you're missing part of your scalp? That's a star for Jonathan. <laughs> and, and why is a light sworn getting messed up in this dirty business? Ooh, good call. Oh, yeah. Good question. Kill That's a star. Good job. I'm a champion of Ioma Day. I go where she needs me, and right now, these people need to be protected. You're a posh bitch. Why are you getting dirty? <laughs> oh, my. That's love a cute it. one, Anastasia. <laughs> you, can, you can label me however you want to, but I follow my lady's dictates, and her dictates are protecting the weak and Your those dictates. that need help. I thought, I, I thought that, too. I was like, is that like... Did he I heard that also. It's like That's dick. his dick. His dick. His dick all, tits. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay. Your minds are in the gutter where you all came from. <laughs> where, where's Lady gone? We need her here for the dick tits. Oh, by the way, uh, his junk is still staring in the in the <laughs> face because his, uh, his shorts are still down. I thought your family was just pinkies up and do their own thing. Well, that's a big misconception, isn't it? Because I'm out here doing Iomade's work and taking care of those that need it. Uh, you have sure. no idea uh, the extent that I'll go through to protect my country and my compatriots. Roll a d20 plus an intimidation or diplomacy check. We believe in you. <laughs> so close, 14, 21. Uh, I want to believe him, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'm close to believing him, but just not enough. <laughs> I want to like him, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jack. <laughs> no way, Jack. That guy's pretty good. You see Luna go ahead and hold her hand out and she casts light. Ooh. And to get the attention, but not to startle. And you see her try and find Anastasia and you see her make eye contact. Yeah, you notice in the woods, there's a not light <laughs> and you notice the face behind the, the light. You, you recognize the face. Um, Mel, you have two other actions. I'm pretty much behind the tree. Stan. I'm gonna go Stan's ahead and take very muscle bound. She is. To walk up, not too close next to Stand dandy. Damn right, there. damn right. <laughs> uh, mostly because I'm not a fan of bagpipes. Yeah, it hurts my I ears. Wouldn't I wouldn't be either. <laughs> As I go ahead and walk up, get a little bit closer to Anastasia, I'm going to also go ahead and increase my light to a little bit like brighter of a color okay. um, and try and make eye contact with Theros. He definitely notices you as well as Stand and Jack Trades. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put my hand, my other hand up to go ahead and show that I don't have anything on. Okay, so she, she, she surrenders. She has lights in her hands and she walked up and that is her actions and rounds. And then Jonathan, it's your turn. Ah, Luna, that was the wrong way to go. You could have surprised all of these fools. Uh, uh, yes. Try and break your rope. It caught fire yes, again. Yes, that's exactly rope. what I, Now, here's the thing. Well, the way, I'm speed. also distracting them right now. And, and here's the thing, Spee, also because of my Wayfinder, I have a five resistance to fire. So this hasn't been burning me at all. Yeah, like you, it hasn't you get bothered burned. me at all. Yeah. Great. So, That's a start. All right. That's cool. So, cool. All right. So uh, this is just the strength check? Yep. All right. Here we go. The, fire, the rope's been damaged. has hardness of five. It's got one left. <laughs> Nine plus four, 13. The rope looks really weak, but mm -hmm. 
you can't break it apart. All right, Stacia's so then... standing there with a rope in her hand going, shoot, on my turn, I was supposed to tie him up. Yeah. <laughs> so then, all right, so for my second action. You could try it again. You got. You yeah, got exactly. Well, I'm going to do one other thing first to kind of hedge bet, hedge my bets. I'm going to pray to Iomade, which gives me guidance. Okay, um, plus one. And it'll give me a plus one on this next check. So right, it's minus five. Wait, why would it be minus five? It's not an attack. No, you're right. To, I'm just trying maybe to break right, out. Right. Okay. Maybe second. Okay. Rules God's on your side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Rules God. Yeah, um, Rules God. Wow. So that's, that's an 18 altogether on the second attempt to break this. The... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you totally busted it apart. Great job. Now we're on equal footing, so let's see how this goes, bagpipe boys. You still have your <laughs> pants around your ankles. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does he break that out? You're out Aren't his legs tied, too? Yeah, everything's tied down. Uh, <laughs> He's just just got his arms free. Yeah, his, his arms. Are I was free. tied to a chair. Well, yeah. Did they tie my legs? You can jump over. You can get away from the fire. Well, I, that was all three actions. To be fair. Okay. All right. Nice job. Wait, I'm out. So I noticed Theros is like he broke his arms out. Oh, yeah, Jack of all trades. He's he's done it, Jack. Whoa, impressive. Uh, <laughs> I, can I try to grab his arms back behind the chair? Not so fast, there, light swan. You'd have to go across the fire if you want to risk being burned. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, risk it. All right. Here we go. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I rolled a 20. What are you rolling for? Orange dice. For the fire damage, 17. Yeah! Uh, it's four points of fire damage as you reach across the, the fire. All right. Do How's I that feel? It? Ow! <laughs> do, I, do, I, do I run or do I, uh, do I still try to... Thank you, it? nature. You can do your action. You just take four points of fire damage. <laughs> All right, I'll take four minutes now. I'll try to. You just see time Luna back up. being really confused of <laughs> him just jumping into the fire. Time it back up is going to require uh, a little more maintenance than just that, but yeah. Give me those hands, butterfingers. Roll Nate. Uh, your, <laughs> your bonus. You're plus four in your decks, eight plus 12. I'm going to say it didn't really make it. And okay. I, I rolled an 89 to see if you catch fire. And the reason why you didn't make it <laughs> is because your, your, your bucklers say catch fire, and you're like, Try okay. To put him out a little bit as you reach across fire. Yipe, 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 Damn yipe, it. Yipe. And Ron, damn Ron. I retreat so and roll stand. on the ground. I roll. Okay. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now that's proper technique. I have to give him credit for that. <laughs> that's true. That's well, I'm the business. jack of all trades. Damn Ron, you. Excellent. So, so Stan Dandy Lever. Uh -oh. He has. He is over Theros. So Theros is done. He's seen the most beautiful woman in his life in Luna. Oh, oh my god. Like the light has come stunned. to him. He's been tired of living this decrepit life. Luna, you he's get that tired look of playing music for the wrong side of the law. <laughs> and he literally he knows that she loves bagpipes because he just feels it. He can feel the connection. Yeah. Who doesn't? So he switches his motivation away from Theros. Oh yeah. He focuses on his prize because he knows Anastasia is his boss and he's oh. tired of looking at Jack all day. So oh. he looks at there and he just plays <laughs> the sweetest tune. You are the sunshine of my life. <laughs> Start. <laughs> He's so preoccupied, he walks closer to you, know, five feet closer, <laughs> and he extends his hand because, quite frankly, he's used to winning the love of most people. Uh, does does Luna know that it, is he attacking her? <laughs> oh, he comes to, no, he has no weapon. He shows no weapon. You, you threw okay. your arms up and he uh, played his bagpipe. He's just okay. playing <laughs> and he wants to show you that he's a friendly vagabond. Luna, it's been a long time since you met another rogue as powerful as you. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, this guy has just thrown it all down and he's got a bagpipe. I mean, I don't know what else you want in life, but... I wow. feel like I just got proposed to in the last episode. Yeah, she's engaged to a happening, you homewrecker. They're <laughs> <laughs> already right. it was it part of that other experience. Part? That was yesterday. This is about now in the moment yeah. moving forward. It's in our about life. the now. With Yesterday's the happening. Living. Today's bagpipes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Stan Dandyliver. Oh God. This is my song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you. Oh, thank, thank you. You are the sunshine. Oh, yeah, I heard it the first you, time. You thank you. You lit the light. I... You the light. You are the sunshine of my uh, You see uh, Luna <laughs> look around him to try and look at Anastasia, who's probably seen the exact same look. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Jack's screaming, going, I'm on fire, guys! I'm on fire! As I'm trying to break I'm out of the ropes, I, I look up to Anastasia and be like, how much are you paying these people? Because it's, I mean, really, you're getting low quality work. I'm not. Here. I'm not. They volunteer. That's all I've got. <laughs> I, I'm uh, done. So I moved on. So his name. Oh, yeah. 
We probably have more things to do, but that was awesome, Rhonda. Give me right. a star. I take a second and I kind of shake myself. I say, Luna. No, I grab Theros's hair and I say, is this cool with you? Yes. Oh. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Obviously. Then I throw him to the side and I say, where's that water skin? And oh. I go and I, I don't bother with Theros uh, for a second. And I go and I try to put out Jack's fire because I'm surrounded by idiots. Oh, wow. <laughs> She called you guys. Good job, Anastasia. You fine now? Thank you, Anastasia. Whew. That was a Dang. close one. That fire almost got me. It's awkward for you guys, but his pants are still down. And Luna, you've never his, seen His him. gold is burning, too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, his gold's in the fire. Luna, you've never seen Theros with his pants down. Well, it's about as expected. Oh, um, damn. So oh, no. How does... How did he get his <laughs> pants off? Is this you? And then I point to Stan. Is this you? Is this a thing? Anastasia, is this a thing? No, it was Lady. She's gone. It was Lady's thing. <laughs> it's oh, what but, we but do here. To be fair, he was peeing on her tree. And that's not tree? a euphemism. That's just... I, I feel like this story. is not a fair representation. If someone could pull the chair back up, please, I can really explain myself and maybe pull my pants up now. Anyone? <laughs> You Wait. see Luna go ahead and take out a notepad and start writing down. <laughs> Luna, don't do not do not document this star. I don't want to Luna, pants Luna, he, he's Sorry. he's actually with you. <laughs> yeah, and we can. Has he been him? blabbing and talking nonstop? And is he really, you know, annoying? And he's, he's uh... really annoying, and he's been blabbering nonstop, but not about anything useful. Yeah, he's with me. Anastasia, how do you know these people? Okay, oh, hold on. I don't want to see his dick anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Who does? Who does? Yeah. And I, I, I pull my dagger back out and cut him up. And I say, pull up your damn pants. And then I say, hi, Luna. It's nice to see you. Yeah. It's been years. Almost I, three. I, I have so many questions. I The last time I saw you, you got taken off, right? The second that we got onto the boat. Yeah, that wasn't very fun. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. It's a long story, but I'm I'm here now. I don't know if we want to be fully clothed before we talk about this. Oh, yeah, sorry. Half the <laughs> half of the time my my side of the idiots are usually half clothed too. Listen, I want you to know that I pulled my pants up not because you told me, <laughs> but because I wanted to. I just wanted to get that out there. That's uh, the most important thing. Yeah. Please, please continue. I'm. This sounds very important. You Anastasia, know. you know my girlfriend Luna. Oh, well, this has happened already. I mean, I got a <laughs> ring last time, so I don't know what's gonna happen next. And I, I look at Luna and I say, "I'm so sorry. This is this is Stan." It's every woman. This is Stan. It's, yeah, it's, I've met a lot of Stan. I got chills. The multiplying. Stan. And, and I'm losing. losing I, I slap my hand over Stan's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you also have one too. I look over to Theros. <laughs> oh, oh god. So I yes, I understand that's a long story, but I'm just glad to see you. There's a lot that's been happening over the past two years and I love you lot. too, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's catch the viewers up. So it has been in fact like two and a half years, and last time you guys saw each other was Deanna's character, Anastasia, was abducted at the docks as you guys didn't know she wasn't on the boat as you were leaving to go to Absalon to become Pathfinders. And that was your whole early initiation. You were leaving with her father, right? And you made it to Absalon and some things happened. And as you go on, you have to explain to, you have to, explain to Anastasia what happened to her dad because she's very curious about this. Before we get, we get to me, I'm just what happened to all of you there were four or five of you that left on that boat and i haven't seen you since then my dad and everyone was with you yes we made it onto shore via this interesting captain we found some centaurs some that helped us and um Pretty much what happened was we went through the canyon of death and all that's left is me and Ren. Um, your father sacrificed himself to save us, along with Aiden. Um, 
in order to save us in the Canyon of Death. I'm so sorry for your loss, but he knew that this is what we needed to do to be able to become Pathfinders. And he sacrificed himself for everything. My father's dead. Yes. Papa, don't preach. Come on, <laughs> Papa, don't preach. I, I stick my head over my mouth. I said, not now. <laughs> Read the room, guy. Really? I mean, <laughs> come on. Was he given a proper burial? He was not um but he didn't burn in the ashes of the explosion but we were still continuously being chased by a couple hundred centaurs down the canyon of death and uh, anastasia with hands still over stan's mouth <laughs> that's a star. That's a star. You notice my arm is still out. I, I hold her hand as she holds my mouth. Oh, it tastes so good, Ron. This is not romantic. It tastes so oh, good. Yes. Oh, so this I've is been, a thing. I've been waiting no. for this for so long. No, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anastasia takes takes a deep breath and says, "That sounds like my dad." But we made it to Skyreach, and we are, well. Me and Ren have become full pathfinders. Now, on that, you suspect that she is Aspis Consortium because you found all the medals on her desk. So I don't know if you would divulge that. So interrogate her a little bit. I I do have to ask you: Are you Aspis Consortius? I mean, I we saw it on the bedside. I mean, no, <laughs> no. Oh Are my you... goodness. And, I, and Anastasia, like for the first time, kind of like relaxes her shoulders a bit and laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> How is that? Aspen no. Consortius. All I have been doing for the past three years is fighting them and putting together pieces of the puzzle. I've been in, in the dark lands. I've been fighting Queen Genu. I, we've been dealing with the drow. We've been taking them out from the inside. Oh my goodness! Wait, hey, that that name sounds familiar. Uh, uh, Luna, are those the Drow that yeah. the Hodges mentioned before? Those are the ones that were responsible for what happened to all of you in the first place. No? Yes, yes. Wait, are you looking for Doriana? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and 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 Anastasia just laughs for like thirty seconds straight at that one. <laughs> And, and and then comes back up. She's she was hunched over and comes back up and says, <laughs> "I'm not looking for her. I've been pretending to be her." Wait, what? Where's my longsword? And I run for the tents. <laughs> no, I, I, I run to the tents and start like scurrying around looking for the. You don't have wait. a longsword. You just wait. had your pants. Everybody, stop. <laughs> You've been pretending to be her. So, you know, Pathfinders, we've been hunted by Doriana for quite some time. Um, is it you? Oh, no, then you're probably being hunted by the real Doriana. Okay. I've been using her cool. her name and like her guise to, mm-hmm. be, mm-hmm. to be infiltrating this. So your end goal is kill Queen Janu. So this this place, I'm assuming this is yours, you know, like traps, you know, tall building entrance. Yeah. That probably. is all, all the, the the traps and the us and the... Uh, making someone ca- catching him with his pants down and stuff is yeah. not only because that's where we are keeping the items that we have recovered, mm-hmm. but it also holds a gateway to the Darklands the Darklands. We found upon uh, finding this 
this hideout that the there are tunnels that lead underground to the dark lands and that is where these drow are living and we've been going and full of vaults of old pathfinder artifacts which is what everything you're seeing in the hideout is and we've gotten so close to the queen the drow are so low in numbers we've taken them out they've taken us out is this all that's left yeah unfortunately it was only the the three of them but they started with the massive thieves guild type army that followed anastasia uh to her quest and you guys have been rewarded rather well for the items that you've stolen. And the reason why they led the, the raid on the Pathfinder Lodge in Almas is because they were determined to find a specific item. They didn't find that, but they returned with like pretty cool items, by the way, that you guys have found, Mel. Obviously, they had no need for them yeah. because they left them back at the hideout. And so mm-hmm. the Darklands are very curious to you. Queen Janu, you saw that, that name when they were doing the investigation of their power lodge, and it's very familiar to you. So while this is going on, I retrieve my sword, but then I also dump the water skin on the fire to retrieve to take the gold back because the oh, burning temperature of gold would be a lot more than a, a campfire. But I, th- uh, I, I I put it out. Some of the, the chips stick together, the gold nuggets. It's fine. I'll buy something more expensive with those. I give Theros a wink. <laughs> He's on That's your side. Right. We're <laughs> friends now. <laughs> but <your> mother. <laughs> right. It's, it's kind of like that. <laughs> but but it's kind of interesting what's happening with these two people. They really know each other. That's what you guys get. <laughs> Before that, I certainly share and let Luna know that all the treasure that we found, they'd be glad to share with her, even though I was sworn to secrecy never to share it. Thank you. I did not realize you're friends with Theros. And I'm sorry about his gold that melted, but I love you. Melted his gold? It didn't melt anything. That few stuck together. Look, we're not dealing with a brain trust here, and that's coming from someone who's not part of the brain trust, so... But I, I know about money, and it takes a lot more than a campfire to burn gold. He didn't respect my music like you do. Theros, we're friends I now. Go get a drink. We are friends forever. Jump around. Yeah, jump around. <laughs> jump around. Nice. Jump. 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 Is it like uh, is it like Mike Myers' dad? And so I married an expert. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you look my buddy, I just think I'm sexy. Come on, baby. That's great. Just Amazing watch it. Scene so good. Film. I now have to get something very, very nice out of this because I'm slowly collecting knickknacks that will just make me stronger <laughs> through this campaign. Yes. Yeah, I've the already got pipe. a plus two ring of protection. I got my, uh, you know, my wayfinder that makes me invisible. All right, Stan, you got to give me something good out of it. She's like a, a gold digger. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I'm literally. <laughs> Luna, I'm going to forget about the past engagement from just a few hours ago. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> and I know where the treasures are. I've been sworn to secrecy with. Stan, perfect. The back, the By the way, in, in the talk of in all this talking, Spencer also I also oh, used Iomedes Grace to lay hands on myself and give myself some hit points. Oh man, it's getting so personal. All right. <laughs> Do you also try to dry your pants? It, it, it was tender caressing, Deanna. I was like, oh yes, I've missed you so much, Theros. <laughs> the entire the entire conversation stops, and we all just look at him like. <laughs> That's probably really what um, happened. <laughs> but I'm healing myself. <laughs> Don't judge me. And then we all turn back to Luna and say, yeah. anyway. <laughs> right. Theros, as you lay hands on your and yourself to heal yourself, mm-hmm. a little scroll pops out of your pocket. And when I say that, you've got like 10 million pockets and the whole gold. But mm-hmm. uh, this one, yeah, right. it might be a little tucked away and it might be a little secret, but... A little scroll pops out. Oh, well, hello. What's this? It seems to be a note from somebody. Seems to be a note. Do you do you read it? Sure, but I'm not going to read in front of... I, I won't read it out loud. You read in silence, but here's right. what you hear. This is, here's what you read. Theros. I suppose if you're reading this, I may be a bit dead. Hm? A bit dead or practically dead. Worse than dead, maybe. I'm sorry for being so morbid. I'm sorry for a lot of things. I'm sorry for what my family has done. I'm sorry for what they've done to yours. I'm sorry for the role I played in this, and I'm sorry for tricking you, for lying by omission, 
I'm sorry for my family's role in the Aspis Consortium. I can only hope that the medicines didn't harm anyone in your family, and I hope most of all they didn't harm you. I first joined you as a way of repentance. It quickly became more than that. As silly as you may be, you never failed to make me smile. You are my dearest friend and my best companion. Please, Theros, save those that can be saved. Live your days with the same boisterous laugh and your unending enthusiasm. I do adore you. Find some f***ing paths, dearest. Mora. P.S. Mr. Spitfire loves you. I crumple up the hand, I crumple it up in my hand, and I just turn to Luna and say, I want to go back to the capital. Capital? I want to go home. We're Pathfinders. We're here to do a mission. Is There's something that just came up on my path, Luna. I need to see Mora. Oh, okay. Well, we could always just take the path back to Almos and give them, or go to the venture caption. That's what I'd like to do. Right now? Can we wait? No. I I don't want to wait. I, I want mean, to go see Mora. We were... We have to go get Ren, at least. As disrupting as that was to you, Theros, a... Crossbow bolt comes in as a fumble. A fumble. Uh, not more of these. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a, I don't even know if you saw it. Uh, a fumble. Wow. Cross- Probably That's heard 93. it. 93. 93. Uh, very unaware. Hit friend. Normal damage and friend stun for one round. <laughs> you hear an undercommon, a drow say, oh, you. And it's, he gets him. Yeah, it's his friend. And, and it's very uh, apparent in the woods. They want to attack Anastasia in a tent. They want to attack me in a tent? <laughs> we'll yes, fight. You stay in there. Is this how you survived? I, I don't know how I survived. <laughs> That's a star for Mel. <laughs> I um, get my sword back from, yes, from you did. the tents? Yes, okay. you did. Right. And you pulled your pants up, finally. Yes. Well, it looks like we're not alone, so I hope you're not leaving quite yet. Well, I heard, I heard the noise of that one drow shout. Yeah, you did. Like, give me a uh, plus five for, for you. Okay. Ooh, I rolled a 20, natural 20. Okay, you definitely see a drow to the north of you. I definitely see a drow to the north. Zoom, zoom out just a little. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I see a drow there. The Anastasia, they're to the northeast. We should hide behind the tent or go out and fight them. What do you want me to do? Stay out front to guard us while we find cover. <laughs> Jack of all. I'll never forget you, Anastasia. <laughs> yep. I'll never forget you. Yep. Is this how you survived? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's how they... It was an honor working with you, Anastasia. <laughs> you too, Jack. <laughs> this is the weirdest deja vu. I charged in the forest. I didn't say... Oh, Anastasia! I didn't say... Oh, Jack. It was too charging. Yeah, left him. I didn't say charge in. Ah, oh. uh, forever. It is part of the Thieves Guild, but you guys have been found, it seems, so... I look at Luna and I said, all I said was stay out front. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Men can misconstrue things very easily. Yeah, yeah. You know, the brotherhood. Shh, shh, shh. I'm going into the woods. Shh. All right. <laughs> and and then she looks a, and goes, no, no, shh. You see one of the drow pop out of the forest. You're not quite sure how many there are, but one of them pops out and says, she's limping and she says, you will regret what you've done. Daddy. And she casts a spell. Come on, you guys. Everybody make a wow. will save. In the group, except for Jack of all trades. Thank you, Jack, for making another. <laughs> yeah. That- I failed. Oh, you is- rolled a one? I rolled a one. A oh, fumble. Oh, my God. Am I charm and do I turn like an evil villain, or what happens? Potentially. I rolled a 16. <laughs> oh. uh, my total is uh, 18. 11 plus 7. 16 fails. 18 makes it. 17. Uh, you make it. 
Uh, Stan failed. Stan, Stan, Dan deliver. You guys are like held in place for a second. My lady will defend me. Now it's your turn. So you're like, you throw the tent into the fire. <laughs> I throw the tent into the fire? That's yeah, that's what you're doing. Am I charmed or it's like a command? It's a command. Okay. I take the tent and throw it in the fire as I <laughs> wink at my lady. It's all I mean, part you of the plan. I've been talking about not. it the whole time, so. <laughs> He's playing his bagpipe while he does it. Incredible. And then it's <laughs> the drow's turn. So you see a couple of the drow emerge from the woods and they take a shot at you guys. Is Jack dead? One, two, maybe. Three hits on Anastasia, two are negative five. So here we go. It's uh, 16 on, on Anastasia. Is that hit? Miss. Ace. Okay. Here we go. 17 plus 13. Yeah, and that hits. Third one. 11 plus. Yeah, it, it's going to hit. Ron, it's uh, 19 on you and a 29 20. on you. Okay, so one missed, one hit. Is that correct? <sighs> That's six points of damage. <laughs> and then Anastasia, two hits on you, correct? Correct. A seven plus six is 13 points. <laughs> You guys get hit by bolts. Let's see if they stick. Brett, can you roll the D100s, please? Three hits. First one sticks. Second one sticks. Thir third one does not stick. So first okay, so you each, you each have a hair arrow stuck in you. <laughs> Doesn't feel so good, does it? Arrows, <laughs> <laughs> help me! Yeah, it's your turn. We're blood brothers. <laughs> That's true. At this point, his blood is splattered on you. And you, you're um. definitely you're blood brothers. <laughs> um. I love you, Theros. <laughs> That's how we said to to Mel. Oh, I, you too, Mel. I want to. <laughs> Who's Mel? I mean, Luna. I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love everybody. <laughs> do, does having the arrow in me do anything? Uh, oh yeah. No. It'll, it'll, well, whenever you, I think your rule is like if you have an error in you and you do an action, you just take a hit point of, of damage when you do an action. If you try to remove it, you could remove it so you don't take any hit point damage, but it's like a save. You gotta like. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll, then I'll, I'll try to take the error out. Luna! It's six in your muscle. Is it DC flat check? Like DC check? Sure. Like that? Yeah, 13. 15. They did it. Oh, Dark. you got it out. 5, 10, 15. Ooh, she's moving. 20. Look at her. Luna! Yeah. What? I'm wounded. <laughs> To heal yourself. Aren't you a bard? <laughs> Make yourself feel better. Luna. Is that a song? Is it helping? Luna. Is it giving you a bonus? The gr the Your instrument, Ron, you do give everybody inspirational courage. That's what I was saying. I was like, shouldn't you be? Luna. Yeah, why doesn't he heal? You're such and a shitty bard. And that's, that's, that's my turn. I was to say, I was like, what do you want to do about it? So you guys see Anastasia tuck and roll over the fire, and she's out there. Good job. And then, Mel, it's your turn. You're tired of the bagpipes. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and move here for my first action. My second action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Grim Tendrils. Ooh. So you see some darkness come out of Luna's fingertips uh, and race uh, through the air, and it's a fortitude save. Uh -oh. It's a 30-foot line. So 21. Yeah, I think they failed then, Spence. So that, they, they take full damage, which is you deal 2d4 negative damage and one persistent bleed to living creature oh, nice. line. So. Wow, this guy is totally screwed. Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do your damage. Uh, so three points. Oh, he's laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've used that spell. <laughs> oh, star. Nice job. Hey. In all fairness, because she commanded me, so I have to blow one action on whatever she tells me to do, because I only just failed, not critically failed. <laughs> Throws a tent in the fire. <laughs> okay, so that's my one action, just throw the other tent in the okay. fire, and I said, one good fire deserves another. This is for the Lodge and Absalon, you bastards. And I oh. hold up my Wayfinder. Yeah. And from the Wayfinder, a Ooh. fireball launches out. Ooh. Oh. It's a fourth level fireball, so that's going to be 8d6 damage. 14 reflex save. Ooh. What's your DC? DC's 25 or 24 higher than it's a critical fail failure. It'd be level 15 plus probably 10, right? So it's 25. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Critical failure, so double damage. 
I see it. Yeah, baby. A burst effect is used forth in all directions from a single corner of a square with the range of the effect. The spreading in all directions to a specified radius. For, for instance, when you cast Fireball, it detonates at the corner of the square within 500 feet of you and creates a 20 foot burst, meaning it extends out 20 feet in every direction from okay. the corner of the square you choose. So it would be like that. It's, it's yes. radius. Yeah, it is radius. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so I get all those losers. Yep. All right. You get Janu nice. and the two others. There was a reason why Mel was with uh, Marcello, and here it is. <laughs> Knows how to make things tick right. <laughs> so, so far, it, so far it's 16 damage, but now there's four more okay. dice to go. Oh, they're fine. They're 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 hanging in there. But you're on double, right, Jonathan? Oh yeah, yeah, and it's double damage too, right? Because it's so so so. The wait, the first four dice were 16, the second four dice were 18, so it's. 34 times two. Wow. Oh no. 68. Are you serious? So I have to make a, uh, what's the save? I got to uh, DC 15 fortitude for playing that. Massive, mm -hmm. massive saves, is that? Mm -hmm. Oh man. First person. DC, what is it, Brett? DC 15 fortitude. Okay. Is what we I'm rolling with the, oh, four. Woo. Plus 10, 14? Ooh, failed. Are you serious? Yeah. Holy oh. shit, star. Like yeah. Two. All right, here's the Bang. second one. And Jan is something different. Seven. Plus 10. 17. Yep, made it. And Jan 13. No problem. So the one guy bites the dust. Oh, I'll say this guy. Wow, but both of them, uh, the other two have negative 68. Sorry, did you say one wow. of them is, is, is Janu? Like Queen? Yes, yeah, she's she's badly wounded, by the way. Yeah, she know? still took uh, wow. 64 points of damage from that. Which, which one 68? is she? She's the one in the center of the lane, and you recognize her because you guys were hunting her just before this. You were down in the Darklands, and right. this was the person you were taking on. You had to retreat with your friends, and you came up to find Theros Lightsworn pissing on your tree, your friend's tree, where she slept on, and this yeah. was the reason why you left the Darklands. Got it. So that the most south one is the queen. Yes. Okay, so I guess I'm fighting this one drow. Wow, Jonathan, nice job. Thanks, mm -hmm. baby. I was waiting to use that. And to be honest, yeah. I'm glad that Mel went and like turned the tides of that conversation because yeah. that's what I was about to hit the doofus twins with at some point also. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that that would have been terrible. I okay. never hurt you. I just told you bad jokes. It, that hurt his soul. <laughs> you let it me hurt, get pissed it, it on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried can, to stop it. He's crazy. I can't stop her. That, oh, I wasn't going to get you, Anastasia. No way. It was just these. <laughs> Who, who doesn't be a pissed on every once in a while? All right, I'm gonna swing at the drow. Tell me how many of you are out there. I gotta report to Anastasia. You'll never stop us. Yeah, right. 13 hit and last attack. Wow, um, all hits. Thir thir 37 total. Oh, jeez. Wow. Nice job. Wow, damn. He's still staring at you, no problem. All right. <laughs> so Janu took a lot of damage, so she's going to retreat. Coward! <laughs> I turn to the symbol of peace because that's what I bring and that's what I've been changed by. The, I've been inspired by love. <laughs> and so Stan turns himself into a dove. <laughs> he flies what? in a kamikaze, kamikaze mission to get For rid you. of what? really damaged. Are you a Where did his bagpipes go? A druid oh, it, it's a, a beautiful bark? white dove like at Christmas. <laughs> and he, the, the dove flutters by uh, Avis Luna in inspiration. She dodges, thinking that the, the dove's gonna poop on her. Luna, you get plus one inspiration. <laughs> plus, plus one <laughs> I'll take for it. damage, and plus one to attack this this okay. round. Okay. Uh, for I'm chasing good her as a dove. I'll yeah. give her on a star for that. It was kind of cool. It's Drow's turn. So, uh, Brett, he throws down. We do have a attack of opportunity. Remember, we, we re no matter what, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can take your attack. Yeah. Okay. You swing at him. Yeah, he's gonna pull the sword. Okay, wow. cool. Wow. 14 points, 14, 50, 51 total, he's down. 23. A miss. And four. Oof. Miss. Nice 10. Yeah, definitely missed. Anastasia gonna get, a, uh, get three shots at you. Uh, three, missed. Eight, missed on second, negative five. This is three again, set third. Eight, wow. Three bolts go by you. <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> Matrix. Deanna, it's your turn. <laughs> I charge at the drow in front of me. Okay. And slash at it with my rapier. Uh, that's a 25 to hit. Uh, you hit it. 10. 
Uh, you missed. Pathfinder 2, you have three actions per round, which is different okay. from Pathfinder 1. So you moved, which is one action. And then I'm assuming for your next two actions, you're probably going to swing both times. Yeah. So you hit the first time. The second time, we just told you to roll another 20 setter. So and, um, now you can roll damage because your second one missed, apparently. First one hit. So it's 1d6 plus 7 piercing damage. 11 damage. He Draws. falls in front of you. Oh, he died? Yeah, he was already wounded. Wow. I, I thought you said he had 79 HP left. <laughs> These are the same That's how much damage you do. Uh, Anastasia, that you guys were fighting in the under and in the other lands, and yeah, they yeah, yeah. they took time to heal as much as they could, and they've come up to kill you. So I I, I pierce I pierce him through straight through the chest with my rapier. That's so gruesome. <laughs> On that one. <laughs> oh, nice. Can we all be friends? I documented and I slow clap. <laughs> Star. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Anastasia. That was. That was impressive. Oh, you give her plus one on the next uh, whatever she's doing. <laughs> Great job. Actually, I'll go over uh, here so we can oh, flank Oh, Jack. Okay. You don't deserve my help, but I'm going to give it to you anyway, Jack Trades. 51 and, um, points of damage <laughs> on that guy. I'm going to try to light him up with the longsword. Only a 12 altogether. Ron, what do you say to that? Uh, what does he say again? It's a 12. He rolled a 12. Oh, I... That was your moment, you know. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 top of the round. Oh, Sorry, cool. Jay. All right, he's about to die. Last one. Thanks for coming, but uh, where's, <laughs> you should be back in the tents. <laughs> yes. Oh Four, no. Sixteen. Four, ten, sixteen. Cool. So he's got twenty AC, right? Um, yes. I hit all three times. Sweet. Oh, good okay. Man. Nine. Must be nice. Twelve. Plus 27, 29, 39. I think he falls once. Um, 39 80. plus 51, uh, yeah. 80. Yeah, you, yeah. you get a start. Good start. Nice. So then it's Jenu. So she, in her chaotic nature, she runs up to you guys. She's chased by a dove. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the dove the she doves is with being her. dove harassed right now, yeah. And she kneels to the ground, and she does this eruption thing, which is just, like, totally insane. You guys have to do a reflex save. It's the worst thing you've ever seen do in your life. Do we get an attack of opportunity if she's running? Oh, I think the dove does, does, because the dove Yes, is, like, the dove hit. and stand. Yeah, the dove de definitely does. She, okay, so, she, the, the, so you said one point of damage if I hit her with my body, right? So doves yes. are not very violent, but they yes. are a messenger of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I rolled an 11 plus whatever I was. Oh, yeah, you have. peck her right on the uh, eyeball. It's okay. terrible. Oh, it's incredible. So, <laughs> taste awful. As a peace bird, I decide to attack her. She has no AC. <laughs> As a peace bird would. I'm just happy. Do your damage, 1d6 and a half, Ron. Real, uh, as a bird, wow. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, three points. So uh, I really, I, I pierced her eye. <laughs> so she won. See how the eyeball, but then she she holds it and then she does her the rest of the what she needs to say. Is there a concentration do. check? If this is a fumble, <laughs> Ron, bird. Ron might have saved the day if this is a fumble. Amazing. Five. She made it. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Ron. Oh, my word. Oh, amazing. <laughs> A yeah. white dove of peace. That's horrible. When right. doves cry, be <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Everybody in that circumference needs to make us a re reflex save. Team. Yeah, yeah I, I, I failed. I have oh, a no, really? Oh, no. It's 22. 27. 22. I did 25. You made it. You made it. So half damage for you guys. She erupts into, like, what you would consider maybe, like, a, a volcano. And, oh, oh God. Uh, I rolled really well. So 33 and a half is tw uh, 16 points of damage to, to everybody who failed it. And to Ron, you take 33 points of damage. And you turn out of the bird and hit the floor. Okay, so I took six previously. So 39 points total, but I'm ready to play a song. Can I do two whips and an inspiration? There you go. Yeah. There okay. you go. All right, so I go. <laughs> everybody! Oh, no. Does cry. <laughs> When the dove. I, I have two probably missed. And uh -oh. then ultimately 18. 18 plus one. Plus 11. So it's minus five in the second one. So it's actually 13 plus 11, which is 25. You hit her. Oh! <laughs> so it's 1d4 plus five slashing. So 1d4 okay, plus so five. I, I, I rolled a one. Not my highest moment. Plus uh, five, six so points. six. Oh, Six boy. points, but I certainly uh, appreciate the fact that Luna smiled after I whipped uh, Juna. <laughs> she did. She did. Minus Six. 77, Spence. Six on her. And then I sing an inspirational song for everybody. 
Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I did I it again. <laughs> I hit the evil villain and destroyed them again. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm inspired. I, I very am. inspirational. In real life, I'm inspired. Uh, yes, Personally absolutely. inspired, yes. Ron, that was definitely a star. Oh, Dr. Sean. Yeah, I've got one to buy. Brett said Britney Spears. So. <laughs> yes. Oops, oops, he did it again. Good job. Teamwork, Deanna. And then, Deanna, your turn. I hit this bitch. All right, she, <laughs> you chased her. The <laughs> thing is, you chased her in the dark lands, and she's come up above ground to chase you down. You're in my territory now. Oh, okay, yeah, very good. She looks right. so much more masculine than any of the males in this party. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> At 20! Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That was a critical hit! Yeah. yeah. At 20. Oh, including wow. the thing over my light that makes the light not Jonathan too bright. is so proud of you. 22 damage. Yeah, there's a lot of singing involved. <laughs> yeah. That's with the doubling? The that's strange. That's there, the there's no doves lot of my campaign. I was just there's zero doves. Oh, so wait, Dan, yeah. did you also double your bonus damage too? The bonus. Yes, is that incorrect or just double the die? <laughs> so no, it's double die and double the bonus. Yes, so, that's correct. Because awesome. it's a D6 plus seven, and I got a oh, four. And you get that's deadly. 11, oh, so it's like two then. Gotcha. Since you critically hit, you add a D8 to that because you're deadly. Oh, and oh, and right. a, and, a D8. and you disarm her if she has something to disarm. That's a critical that was hit. A D10. That was wrong, guys. <laughs> right. I was a, like, has, that's a ten. And then I was like, oh really no, of course. <laughs> She's at seventy-seven. How much damage she do? Uh, another four, so 25. One, one, 103. Oh, wow. She is like complete. She's on her knees begging for your forgiveness. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. That was only one of my Ooh. actions. Oh, shenanigans. Mm. Shenanigans. Yes. Wow, that was just the first attack? That was the I first guess. attack. Oh, she's a goner. Um, you know what? I mean, also, wait, I think she's uh, flat footed, right? Because aren't you teaming up with Stan? Yeah. So you get, you get uh, sneak yeah. attack damage. You get another, another, another 2d6 precision damage to flat footed creatures. That's true. Uh, so we get a, I get to roll another 2d6. For it's that usually a one, it's one Look d6 at her sheet. Her sheet mine, mine, says, mine says 2d6. You guys nice. are all a bunch of thieves. Wait, so why is she flat footed? Feeble level two. When you're flanked, I think. Yeah. When you're flanked, because Ron scared Direct you. Direct on both sides. Yeah, Ron's back there. So then on add the six to that, so it's 31 for the first hit. Okay, so another six. So, so yeah, 130. 109. Now she's 109. Oh, she, she didn't roll her second attack yet. She's just rolling yeah. your bonus sneak attack damage. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. I only I remember got sneak when she's... attack that first time, right? Because now she's seen me and I'm not sneaking. She's mad at you. Oh, no. She's still flanked. Yeah. You still yeah get she's points. at a negative two to her armor class, so. Wow. She's so mad. Another two, another attack or two. Uh, 29 to hit. Yeah, you hit her. Oh, sorry. Want. And then that's minus five. Is that correct? Yeah, minus five, yeah. So then that's 24 to hit. But her AC is two worse, right, Spence? Yeah, you, you mm -hmm. hit her. Yeah, so okay, 18. I still hit her. And remember, Stan also gave us that plus one bonus for attacking and damage. Oh, that's right. Stan Thanks. is Thanks Ooh, everyone. Call. Stan has, it, it wouldn't have happened. I'm saying when doves cry. Mm -hmm. That's right. The bagpipe really just <laughs> drove it home. Uh, drove 11, it home. 11, 18 damage on that one. Uh, so 109 plus 18, 127. And I'm gonna roll my final one, which is minus. Did 10. you roll the 2d6 sneak damage? Plus, also yeah, on that? that was including okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and that's another crit. Oh, oh, God. God. Yes. Oh, wow. well, that's, that's why you're the boss. Oh. I can take a picture of it if you <laughs> want to. That's yeah. Yeah. okay. Okay. All the reaction. Yay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Confirm it. Confirm it. Confirm it. Uh, okay, confirm the 20. Okay. 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 Thank you, Jay. Yeah, we uh, love you, Jay. Four. A four again? Okay, <laughs> nice. it's still double damage. We'll take critical it. Hit. Two wow. critical hits courtesy of Emerald wow. Knights. Yeah. Um, uh, 22 plus. Hey, uh, I hate to tell you, Anastasia, you already. So, Ooh. what happened? You already killed her. What What do you do to the rest of the body? Oh, awesome. I chop off her fucking head. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I like her that style. Was slice off her head oh and I watch God. it roll away wow. and then I cast light again to try and find oh, it in the darkness <laughs> can you get the flashlight it's, it's yeah. hard because she's a drow it's very dark <laughs> so a, there's pretty awesome treasure they have as you guys clean up the Do tell ready for who's on Queen Jane I, I, I actually I feel like Jack and Jack takes it all no, I think he's very far away, and I think also uh, so is Theros. And so I, I feel like it's just the ladies and Stan who get to have an opportunity. Okay, so Stan and uh, the ladies. Wow, you hear that, Brett? Your own brother. <laughs> Here we go. Like, <laughs> under the bus. I get him doing it to me. But... <laughs> there's, there's four potions. 
There's a comb in her hair. <laughs> Which whoever has the head, who is the head? Well, it rolled on the ground. No one has it. Four potions, leather pouch, hair comb. Oh, she, Luna's just like all mine, 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 There's mine, 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 mine. Bracelets. She lets go of a large wood. It, what's? It's a wooden lockbox carved oh. with elven ruins. By the way, there's what? Uh, it looks like a talisman on her. Looks like a emerald grasshopper. And she has boots and she has a dagger. Your boots sound fake. Uh, to be honest with you, so uh, what? <laughs> Is that the this game They're before. not real Prada. Okay, so the comb and the hair, that kind of got me. Oh, that that is really cool. So it is a, it's a jeweled hair comb worth 120 gold pieces. Oh, ew. okay, here's the deal. So Stan grabs that comb. Oh, oh boy. And he oh. says, Luna, oh. Luna, <laughs> this mm -hmm. comb is yours if you just kiss me on the cheek. Oh. Uh, she just kisses him on the cheek. Oh, score, <laughs> score, <laughs> score. You haven't seen the things that I've done to these other. <laughs> I had to show I my mean. feet off. Uh, here's the uh, deal. Here's the deal. Uh, That's right. I don't give her the comb right away, but it's just kind of a lead up to what's going to happen later. <laughs> oh, man. Hello. Show me your feet. That's right. Yeah. Oh, she, right she, she, the I, give, I give her the comb because I know. I know I'm a transitional player, but there you go, Lenny. Earn the comb as well. <laughs> Thank you. The rest of the potions are acid resistance, a potion of quickness, which I assume is like haste, and then two moderate healing potions. Ooh. You get a leather pouch with 100 silver, 120 silver pieces. <laughs> Who got the boots? Theros did. I guess that, yeah, that I was bequeathed the boots. These are the boots of Elven Kind. Does she? Oh, have hey oh. oh, oh those are really yeah, awesome. Yeah, but does it make sense for me? To, what, what do they give you? Extra speed? Probably stealth, I bet. Does she have if any If it's stealth, I'm just going to give those to Luna, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, she has the she dagger. How much? Oh, you got you to pull the dagger? It's a plus one dagger. I, nice. Yeah, I, I'd like any weapons. If we're at the top of the round, if I can get the uh, talisman. It's a uh, emerald, emerald grasshopper. Are you proficient in athletics? Yes, I believe. Okay, so, so. you can attach this to your armor. When the hero makes a high jump, you can make an you can activate the talisman to try and jump even higher. Cool. So on a successful check, you leap 50 feet vertically and up to 10 feet horizontally. Up like to a seven, grasshopper. Yeah. <laughs> So it's it's a flat DC 10 check. So if you're going to try and do some kind of really cool thing, you can do that for an action. Activate your talisman. So you got to remind the DM of that because he'll forget that next next it's session. In my notes, <laughs> there are bracelets of dashing. Of dashing. Sure, I'll fight those. I don't know what they do, but you got to check them out. Ah, these Thank boots are pretty cool. And if I get a cloak of elven kind, then it gets really cool. Uh oh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Great job, guys. The fireball saved us. Holy crap, Jonathan. Oh, my goodness. That was everything. Critical fireball. Mm -hmm. Big time. Thank you, guys. That's why I chose that. I was like, once per day, I can do this explosion. That's pretty cool. I'll take Thanks it. Thanks for not putting you it on us. You could have done that on us. We'd all died. I was, I was I was literally a round away from it. Uh, Mel <laughs> saved everybody. Mel saved everybody. But Jonathan, when when you heard uh, Morris, you know, when you read that letter, I mean, what was it like for you? Uh, I was gut-wrenching for Theros. He was he was upset, and he was, you know, he he had just been belittled and tortured, and then he finds this at the end of it all. And then the timing of the drought showing up was great because he was happy to take out his aggression on them. Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah. But he wants so he, to, he he he's now taking up. I mean, he needs to find out. In, in addition to other things, he needs to find out. He wants to find out what Mora was talking about. Hmm. Wow. Now there may be something to help clear his family's name. There's more to the story. The light swarms. And wow. the Queen Janu was wrapped up, I guess. I can't believe we took her out that, I mean, it felt easy. But you guys did a ton of damage to her. I don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't We did. We did. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Everyone else did. I am the only level two. <laughs> I was like, pew. Oh, no, no, Luna, you and I are just because I can throw that fireball. That was the only reason I did anything halfway decent. Are you also level two? Oh yeah, maybe not after tonight though. Yeah, I'm. Oh, that's if, true. I'm probably gonna oh, bump up to level three. Stars. Jonathan reminds hey. me. Oh yeah, who's, who's the star hey, winner? Luna, the dove did more damage than your character. Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, it did. Ouch. Jonathan has 18 stars. Holy yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. It goes. Jonathan won, and then nice. let's do 160, 160, 160 for you, and then Mel, you're doing 160, 160 because you took second stars. Okay. 
And and we owe Tracy that from the prior episode. She did pretty well for you. And a, and a bonus, a bonus high five for being pissed on. I have a badge, a new badge of courage. <laughs> Ron, we're so happy you were here tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. By the way, you know, ultimately the reason why I even turned into a dove is because in my personal life, I was defending. <laughs> this, is, this is no joke. I was defending baby doves that were on my deck from the most oh. wicked crows in the world with an air gun with a magical <laughs> artifact which was a dead, a, yeah, dead, yeah. A, a fake dead crow it's just a long story i can't even tell you i was so drained from it but uh my wife and i basically saved these two baby doves that became adult just recently it was so difficult ron there's your autobiography the, yeah. like <laughs> That's ron, right. ron 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 is the crow experience the crow experience <laughs> it was it was a dnd adventure like no other it's amazing uh, dude guys, it's amazing be yeah. part of your great yeah, adventure yeah this is so much fun all right guys peace <laughs> awesome you guys all Thank rock you. i'll see y'all you soon you too ron yeah. thanks for coming that was yeah, awesome yeah, John. Ron, mel, yeah. mel what's the outro what's the we're outro we're doing it live yes we are um, we are uh, Don't miss out. Press that subscribe button. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at Loaded Dice Rollers and at Gia McClouds.